This is a 5 minute introduction to the digital multimeter. Hi, I'm John from 1929FordHotRod.com. This is a basic digital multimeter commonly referred to as a DMM. The power button is just a simple push button switch. This meter uses a liquid crystal display or LCD. There are 11 different functions on this multimeter. DC voltage, DC current, AC voltage, AC current, resistance, continuity testing, capacitance, inductance, temperature, frequency, and transistor gain testing. Going around the dial clockwise, our first function is the diode check function. Next we have the continuity testing function. You will hear a small buzz when you measure zero ohms or a short is measured. Next we have the resistance function. We use the Greek letter omega for resistance. This meter has six different ranges from 200 ohms to 20 mega ohm. On the voltage function we can measure both DC and AC voltages. When set to AC, we can measure from 200 millivolts to 700 volts. On DC, we can go from 200 millivolts to 1000 volts. This is the DC-AC selection switch. It is a push button switch. Push it in to measure AC voltages. When this switch is depressed, an AC symbol will appear on the LCD screen. For the current function, we have four common ranges for both the DC and AC current measurements. They range from 2 milliamps to 10 amps. The DC-AC selection switch is common for both the voltage and current functions. Next we have the capacitance function symbolized by the circuit symbol for a capacitor. Here we have five ranges going from 2 nanofarad to 20 microfarad. The inductance function is symbolized by the letters LX. This function has five different ranges going from 2 millihenry to 20 henry. The capacitance inductance switch must be pressed down when making either capacitance or inductance measurements. For the temperature function, we can measure temperature in degrees Celsius using the supplied probe that came with the multimeter. The last function on this multimeter is the transistor check function, which is symbolized as HFE, which is a gain characteristic of a bipolar junction transistor, or BJT. Now let's take a look at the inputs of the digital multimeter. First we have the common or negative input jack. This is where the black test lead will be plugged into. This will be the common negative input for voltage, current, resistance, inductance, diode checking, temperature, and frequency. The digital multimeter will come with two test leads, one red and one black. The red lead will go into one of the three red jacks. First we have this jack, which is a positive input jack, which is common for DC voltage, AC voltage, resistance, diode checking, and frequency. The second possible positive input jack is for measuring DC current, AC current in the milliamp ranges, inductance, and temperature. A red test lead will go in this jack for one of these possible functions. The last possible positive input jack where a red lead will go into will be only for measuring current up to 10 amps and it will be for either DC or AC currents. When measuring the capacitance value of capacitors, the leads are inserted in these two slots. One lead per slot and insert them very carefully. This is the socket that you would use to check the gain characteristics of a bipolar junction transistor or BJT. But before you use this socket, you need to know where the emitter, base, and collector leads are on the transistor and you must know whether the transistor is NPN or PNP.
I have several other videos for specific digital multimeter measurements and simple maintenance of the digital multimeter. Feedback and comments are always welcome. Thanks for watching. Please visit my website at 1929fordhotrod.com.